big cinematic films don't start with effects, they start with intent. A feeling, a sense of scale, a story you want the audience to step into. In this video, we take a interstellar inspired cinematic video concept and build it end to end inside design. From storyboard, to video sequence, to lip sync, to fully enhanced 8K master. Grab your laptop and follow along and let's make this together. Quickly before we jump into tutorial me, in this video, we're not creating a movie, we're creating a cinematic masterpiece inspired by modern space epics. This means a vast environment, controlled camera movement, and emotional restraint rather than spectacle overload. The steps I'm gonna show in this video will involve creating a reference character image, then a storyboard, followed by bringing them to life as videos, and finally enhancing them up to 8K. So we're here within a new project that I've set up to create this video. And we're first gonna go up to text to image and put in the prompt. I've already put in the prompt here. I'll show you the prompt. It's a IMAX inspired large format cinematic realism, ultra wide 21 by nine cinematic framing and designed to be letterboxed in post inside of CapCut. And the prompt goes on and on. So if you want to read it all, just pause the video and you can catch the beginning and the end of the prompt here and try that prompt for yourself. And so I'm going to use mid journey and I'm going to create these in a 21 by nine aspect ratio and click generate. And then I'm also going to create these in Nano Banana and also 21 by nine 4K and click generate. And then also generate these in some of the other models we've got here like Sea Dream 4.5 and Flux 2 Pro. And one of the cool things about design is that with the master plan, you have unlimited image creation, unlimited fast image creation. So you can create as many images as you want. One mid journey a couple of times, one nano banana a couple of times, run all of these models a few times and get different prompts. And so this is the results I've got here on the screen. And the first set of images I did here, I accidentally did 16 by nine. But the thing is, it doesn't matter too much if you make that mistake, if you really like one of these images. So say for instance, I really like this image up here on the left, then I can just go into chat editor at the bottom here and just ask it to adjust it to a 21 by nine aspect ratio and choose that in the options. And so if I go to the top of my listing here, that's what I've done here. You can click on the I and C, adjust this image for 21 by nine it gives me the 21 by nine version of that 16 by nine image. And so you can see it's made up what it thinks would have been here. And it looks fairly legitimate to me, it looks pretty good. So let's look at some of the other images quickly that have been generated by the other models here. So we've got here, this one by Nano Banana Pro, and it's pretty cool, I like it, but it's not really the style I'm looking for 100%. Then. This next one here is by Mid Journey, and here you can see I chose 21 by nine aspect ratio, and it's generated some really interesting images. I like this one a lot. All of these are really intense, really cinematic feeling to them. I like the emotions. I actually like the emotions in this a lot, but I like the color in this one more, I like the blues. In this one, I like the dark intensity of the right hand side, and then the brightness of the left hand side there with the light in the eyes and this one too, these are both incredible. All of these are incredible shots. And then also some other options I had to choose from here. We had this by Flux 2 Pro. It generated letterbox, but I didn't want it to do that. It's not a particularly amazing image. And this one here by Sea Dream 4.5, which generated in a 16 by nine aspect ratio, even though that's not what I asked for. Uh, it's not really a great image either. So in the next ones, we've got a few more mid journey ones and I really like the intensity of the emotion in this guy here and this guy here. This guy really looks like something serious is taking place. So it was either this one here or, or one of these ones here by Mid Journey. And the decision is quite difficult to choose because they all look really incredible. This is the image I settled on for creating this video. I really like the emotion in the guy's face and I like the color the look about it, everything about it really speaks to me that this is the kind of shot I want, the sweat on the head, everything. So we're going to go to the next step now, creating the storyboard. 
So here we are with our key image for the movie here and we've got it selected on the canvas and then I go to chat editor here and choose Nano Banana Pro and paste in the prompt that I have here and choose 4K and 16 by 9. And basically the prompt here says you're an award-winning trailer director, cinematographer, storyboard artist, use the reference image, expand it into cohesive cinematic short sequence, 10 to 20 seconds. And if you want to read the whole prompt, just pause this video as I scan through it slowly now. So we've got the storyboard images done here and I'm just going to use six of these images which I'm going to make full screen now so I can tell this story. So I'm going to use KF1, KF2, KF3 and KF6 and KF7 and KF9 to bring them to full size. And the way I do this is in my layers here I've got two layers. I've got the storyboard image here and I've also got the original reference image of the close-up of our main character. And then here, when I click, the first thing I'm going to do is I click onto the character reference here, this one. And I use that as the main option by clicking chat editor at the bottom. Then I click into the second plus here and add the storyboard as the second image reference. And then for instance here this is the simple prompt that i've been using which is use this character for consistency and in large frame kf7 and then these will all come up here in the results and so here's our first result which is of kf1cu you can see that's the basically exactly the same image now i've got these images ready the next step is to go from image to video so the next step of this process is to bring these images to life with image to video and I'm going to use Google VO 3.1 for this and so I click on the image here and I can go to AI video and then from there I can choose my model which is in this case VO 3.1 fast and then in this box here I can paste my prompt and I did a really simple prompt for this particular video which is eyes slowly closing, exhaling once processing the weight of the moment. So you don't always have to do very complicated prompts. In fact, when you do short prompts, you give the model more room to be creative. And one of the things I love, which you probably know if you've watched any of these videos, is that within design you have access to so many video models, and some of them do lip sync built in like VO3 does, and other ones don't. And so they have incredible tools where you can do lip sync as well. So we're gonna export this, make sure you have the sound turned on, and choose your aspect ratio. It's only giving me 720 in this, and then I can click generate. So then you continue and you do that with all your video clips. I'll briefly show you the prompts that I used for each of the video clips. This is the first video, listening and making affirming responses. Then the close up on the eyes here, listening quietly, steady breathing, focused eye movement, tension building. In the next clip, looking upward slightly, absorbing information, giving a short decisive response, and then eyes slowly moving, exhaling once, processing the weight of the moment, that was the one you just saw, and then the last shot where he comes out of the spaceship, it says sitting alone in silence, minimal movement, quiet cockpit ambience, and this shot here, listening through the radio, making small affirming responses, calm and professional. So now we have all our videos done, we want to enhance them up to 8K. So this video here, for instance, is to 720p at the moment. And the first thing I'm going to do is go into video enhance and upscale here. And I'm going to enhance by two times first. Already it's looking much better, but it's still 720p. So next we're going to upscale it to 8K. Same button again and click over to upscale and click 8K, upscale. Absolutely incredible. Then of course, continue this process for all of the rest of the clips. Here they are all exported and then put them together in a video edit with any extra sound effects or music and you have a final result like this one I'm gonna show you right now. Yes. Yes, I copy. We're on our way. Understood. 
Maintaining course parameters. Execute the jump sequence. AI video is just blowing my mind every day pretty much for the last 14, 15 months. And now you can create AI videos up to 8K in resolution. And for most of us, exporting in lower resolution than 8K, this gives us the ability to crop in and zoom on clips that we've made without losing any perceived clarity or quality in the video. So with this video sequence, I exported it all as 8K. But even if you're not exporting as 8K, the benefits of exporting as 8K are incredible, such as being able to obviously zoom in, say you're doing 4K or 1080 as your final export. The ability to zoom in on that 8K image and have a lot of control in post is also incredible. Make sure to try it out for yourself and that you're subscribed to this channel for more tips and tutorials on all that you can do within the design platform.